Gosh darn it, Nintendo. This is what you could have done. This is what a Switch Pro could have been. We could all be basking in more powerful Nintendo glory. But instead, it's Valve who raised their hand and said, we can do it. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Let me know what you think about this in those comments because Valve just announced their Steam Deck, which is effectively a Switch Pro. This is a powerful handheld that has the innards that we all wanted from Nintendo, and instead they decided to do the Switch OLED, and it's ironic because Switch OLED pre-orders are starting in just a few minutes, and now Valve is like, hey, in case you don't want to spend $350 on a little bit better screen and uh, kickstand, you could get a system that is packed. And there's some significant heartache here because it even has a dock. It really is like the powerful Nintendo Switch we've always wished for and it can play so many games. Third-party support, absolutely. Your entire Steam library, everything that runs on Steam, which nowadays is basically every game except for Nintendo exclusives. It really is a new era of Switch just made by a different company. Like that's how it feels to me when I see this thing. Like it's undeniably speaking the same language. And I'm gonna take you through everything, the tech behind this, how powerful it is, what it can do, what it costs, if it's worth it. All right, this thing is loaded up with tech and it can run your entire Steam library. They say every game can run. IGN got a chance to play this and they were able to play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order on high settings and they said it worked great. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button if you find this exciting. I am gonna get one. Pre-orders for this, reservations they're calling them, open tomorrow and it does look like it is going to be an awesome portable, maybe the most powerful portable. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's in comparison to the Switch's four gigs of RAM. Now it is running a Zen 2 AMD processor. Its GPU is at 1.6 teraflops. Okay. In comparison, the PS4 is about 1.84 teraflops. So right around PS4, although this does have modern RDNA 2 architecture, so it's not a direct comparison. Valve is saying like, this is going to just work your whole library. And the storage is on the system because it does come with internal storage. And then you can also use micro SD cards, just like the Switch, to hold more games. There's going to be three different versions of the Steam Deck and they go up in price. But as you saw at the top, this thing starts at $399 and it's dropping this December. Before Christmas, it is going to be... I mean, the most Switch-like thing we've seen. Now, $399, that is one price point. If we click here to the reserve page, let me show you what we got going on because there are three Steam Decks for $399, $529, and $649. The base one is only 50 bucks more than the Switch OLED, and you're getting a lot more power. As I mentioned, quadruple the RAM, a much better GPU, a better processor, 64 gigs of storage. Now that's not a lot of storage, but again, it can be expanded with micro SD cards. So if you want to go that route, you can, but it seems like the true Steam Deck really starts at the 529 model because that's where you get the 256 gigabytes of storage and you get an NVMe SSD. So as they list, faster storage, a carrying case and exclusive Steam community profile bundle. I'm not sure what that is, um, but that is where things are really going to zing. All right, that's where you're gonna get really fast loading. You're gonna have more storage. I mean, there's some games that are over 64 gigs. So this seems to be the sweet spot. Now at the $649 price point, you get 512 gigs of storage. You get even faster storage. You get premium anti-glare etched glass and you get exclusive virtual keyboard items. And that is because uh, this thing has a touch screen. It is a seven inch screen, all right? It has trackpads, it has joysticks. They are capacitive so they can tell when your thumb is resting on them. They got four bumpers on the back, four triggers on the top. Actually, very Switch looking when you really look at this thing. It's like they said, how can we make a PC guy or girl Switch? That's what they really went for. The buttons are oddly high. That's the part of this that I'm like, what? Look when it goes back to the front. The buttons are actually, we can, we can take a peek here. The buttons are at the top, okay? I... 
I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little weird. The thumbsticks, they look really nice. They're capacitive, best in class. They say they've got great sensors. The triggers um, look very nice. Um, it does have gyro. It's got these grip buttons on the back. The touch screen, the track pads to simulate mouse movement. They did make sure to say right here, it fits a wide range of hand sizes. They're coming for you, Joy-Con, they really are. Um, full size controls position perfectly within your reach. That doesn't look perfect in my reach to me. You hold the sticks here and then what, you press the button with like a claw, a claw finger? But maybe it won't be so bad. It's just weird because it looks like the B button is like slipping off of the edge, okay? It's, it's interesting, but what I got to say about this, it's expensive, all right? 530 is more than a PlayStation 5, more than an Xbox Series X. Now, granted, it's like a portable PC, and if we're comparing it to a laptop, now, you know, the price maybe seems a bit more familiar. They do say that you are able to have sort of a desktop here where you could load third-party apps, and this thing does have a dock like the freaking Nintendo Switch. There's a dock, and you can connect it to a monitor, you can use all sorts of USB accessories. I mean, they have pictures here where people are plugging in fight sticks. Now, you don't need to use their dock. They say any USB-C hub is going to work um, for this, which is which is quite interesting. Um, but if you do want to connect it to a monitor, um, the dock is the way to go. There we go. That's the picture with the fight sticks. It can be plugged into the TV, and it's going to give it battery life because so far, the tech spec on this that makes me say, oh, gosh is the battery life. Everything looks good, right? Oh, it's looking nice. That that processor, that GPU, that RAM, the storage on the, the higher models, all right? It's got all the controls. But there's two things that bother me, and, and one is the 800p, okay? 1280 by 800p handheld. The Switch, as you know, is 720p. So this isn't phenomenal in terms of resolution, but the reason it has to be this is because of that battery, because of how much oomph is inside of this thing. The battery life is for two to eight hours of gameplay. Two hours of gameplay. That ain't lasting me through the flight. I can't go to LAX. That's a five hour flight and my Steam Deck is dying before I even get to my bathroom break. It's not a good battery. I mean, eight hours on the, the far end would be great, but like we know, it probably is going to veer towards the lower end with, you know, high intensity games. And it's understandable. Look, like what they're putting in here for a portable system, it makes sense that it has a low battery life. But that is something to consider. This is not going to just run and run and run. And that's where a dock or at least charging is going to come into play. Now, you know, as long as you have an outlet by you, you can probably make it work and mitigate it a bit. And when you are able to play things like Jedi Fallen Order and like Baldur's Gate 3 and like, you know, Control and Ghost Runner and No Man's Sky and all these games at a much higher fidelity than you can on Nintendo Switch, pretty darn cool. You obviously won't get the exclusives from Nintendo, the first party games, no WarioWare, no Metroid Dread, no Mario Party Superstars, but so many games come out on PC these days. So many games, and there's also, you know, games on PC that you sure can't run on Switch. We're talking about the ability to play PS4 and 5 games on this portable because Sony continues to put a lot of their titles, their first-party games, on PC, right? We've seen it with Days Gone. We've seen it with Horizon Zero Dawn. There's rumors that they're putting Bloodborne and Uncharted and being able to play those on the go. Well, now you have a library of exclusives that does look to rival Nintendo. And it's just, for me, it is so cool. I think I'm going to get one. And it's also so heartbreaking because this is what the Switch Pro could have been. Maybe it wouldn't have been this expensive, hopefully not. And maybe it wouldn't have been this powerful, but it would have been a lot more powerful than what we got right now. And this is why people were so excited about the prospect of a Switch Pro. This is why people were so hopeful. This is why we all just salivated when we saw those rumors and why we felt ripped off when Nintendo went a completely different direction. So you do have an option here. This is going to be an interesting test. I'm curious how much this sells. I'm curious how the model breakdown goes because, you know, $399, like that is, dude, that's 50 bucks more than an OLED Switch. I'm getting that. But then if you really want to make this thing, you know, what it can be, and you want that better onboard storage and that faster NVMe, you're, you're paying $529, and that is a very premium price. That is a lot of money for just about everybody. $649 to me is just 
crazy. So how does this sell? How many units do people take this seriously? How many are they able to produce? Reservations are opening tomorrow. It's coming in December. I don't know if it's going to be sold in stores, probably only through Valve at the onset. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this what we wanted from Nintendo? And are you interested? Would you consider getting one of these? It, it's what I wanted. Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, I love you a lot. Switch Force, out.